Now, in a surprise move, Iran has drastically reduced its stockpile of nuclear weapons-grade uranium. Morgan Ortega joins us. Morgan, why is Iran doing this? Well, there's a really important IAEA Board of Governors meeting next week. So no one should be surprised by this, Sue. This is typically what the Iranian regime does to try to fool the West, to try to fool the United States and Europe into thinking, oh, maybe they actually do want to come back into compliance. None of that is true. We know that Iran is closer than ever to having a nuclear weapon under the Biden administration. There are billions of dollars richer for it as well. But uh, at this IAEA Board of Governors meeting, Stu, um, the board could find uh, that Iran has, of course, you know, violated everything that they're not supposed to violate. And they could actually refer Iran to the U.N. Security Council, which could mean um, if you had anybody with any guts and any teeth actually putting U.N. sanctions back on Iran. So Iran wants to avoid that at all costs because now the conventional weapons ban, for example, is gone against Iran. Uh, they're enjoying billions of dollars in sanctions relief, not because any sanctions have been removed, but because the Biden team refuses to enforce yeah, them. Right. So they're 80 to $90 billion richer just on that. Um, and it's, uh, you know, it, it's, it's nothing more than a, a typical Iranian, you know, the same playing, old, same Iranians old. playing around with that. It, the same old, same old. We've seen it for years and years and yeah. years. All right, Morgan, change the subject. Yeah. Slight change of subject. Sure. President Biden discussed a potential ceasefire in Gaza while getting ice cream in New York City yesterday. He hopes to have a deal by next Monday. Morgan, that, that is a very sensitive topic to be discussing so casually inside an ice right. cream shop. I mean, what do you think about this? He was asked the question, Stu. Um, it, it, to me, and I just was in Israel in January, meeting with the parents of the Americans who were still held hostage. And really, I just cringed whenever I saw this video. Because number one, uh, he did not talk about the Americans at all. I mean, I want to know, we still have six Americans that have been held hostage by a terror group since October 7th. Is he getting the Americans out? He should be asked that at every stop. Second, why are we calling it a ceasefire? It used to be a humanitarian pause. Then there was a temporary ceasefire. Now Biden is using the language of the hard left, the language of Hamas, by calling it a ceasefire. I mean, we'll see what happens. But so far, well, we're only talking about getting 35 to 40 of the hostages back. And there's probably, that would leave at least another 100 behind. This deal does not make sense to me but so I, far. I, I sense that he said this uh, just casually in an ice cream store because he wants to influence today Michigan primary, where he is under a great yeah. deal of pressure from those who do not support his, his Israel policy. So it says casually, oh, it, oh, cease fire by next Monday. Yeah. That is outrageous. I think that's right. I also would remind uh, your audience that the State of the Union is next week, and there is chaos and war in almost every theater, thanks to Joe Biden and his feckless and weakless weak leadership. So I would assume he also wants something to be able to say about Israel um, at the State of the Union. What we really need to hear is when are we getting our Americans home? Right, exactly. Morgan Ortega, thank you very much for joining us. Always appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Stu. Yes, sir.